So since, since Barcelona has been resurfaced, it's gone from being one of the bumpiest tracks of the year to being one of the smoothest. And also the asphalt itself is now very smooth as well. That means that the tyres have very high grip, but when you, if you push too hard and you go over the limit of grip, then the car will be very snappy. The, the grip drops away very quickly. So the cars actually, even though it's high grip, they're difficult to control. So turn five is always a very challenging corner in, in Barcelona. And that's because the track warp there, the way the camber changes through the corner, means that it tends to lift the inside front into the air. And the, you'll then lock that tire, which creates understeer and causes the car to run wide. So that's a very challenging corner from a setup and a driving perspective. Turn nine, the high speed right hander will be an interesting corner this year because it's just on the limit to being full throttle all the way through that corner always makes an interesting, interesting corner. And then after that, at the end of the straight, you're into turn 10, which is a big braking zone. And uh, what you always see in Barcelona is how you drive turn 10, that the tyres get no chance to recover from that corner. There's no more straights for the whole of the rest of the lap. So if you affect the tyre temperatures there, you affect the grip, and that will carry forward for another five corners thereafter. Obviously, Spanish Grand Prix is a home Grand Prix for Fernando and uh, because of that there's going to be a lot of support. He has a huge following in Spain. He's done a huge amount for Formula One in Spain, for the popularity of Formula One in Spain. His influence in, in sport and road safety and everything in Spain is huge and actually uh, it's going to be brilliant to be at the Spanish Grand Prix.